Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is in the light heavyweight division and will be fought over three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of beyond, black belt. Make some noise for Ross Poe! And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of HFFS, make some noise for Joe Cook! Ladies and gentlemen, reintroducing both gladiators to the ring. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner from beyond black belt. Put your hands together for Ross Hove. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner from HFFS. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Joe Cook. Fight sponsor is Horner Downey and your referee is Dave Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at Shinobi, the Warrior Returns. I'm Jamie the Haymaker Hay, here with M16 himself, Ian Butlin. Looking forward to this light heavyweight bout. It's always good to get the light heavyweights in. And, and we've and, got a. Uh, and two unbeaten light heavyweights again. There is indeed. We've, we've got a. Uh, Andrew Clamp sat next to us actually watching ahead because he likes the light heavyweight fights as he has took a few titles himself in his time. So, so here we go. Oh, some big shots there. Very different styles, these two. You've got the sort of the tall Pope, very up, very, very upright, sort of like an Eastern European amateur boxing style. And then you've got the short squat. Um, Joe Cook, of, yeah, Joe Cook. Heavy Cutt. shots of uh, Joe Cook. Real heavy base. Throwing some big shots straight from his chin. So uh, Ross Pope up against the cage. Bit of a look of Avi Jack, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they both, they both look, look at that vagrant look. <laughs> so here we go. So uh, Joe Cook up against the cage now. Now I think see he's got he's got the underhook there. He's trying, to, he's trying to peel Joe Cook off him. Really, I mean, Joe Cook's dipping his head down. He's, he's going down. Sort of, you know, basic wrestling would tell you, you know, if the guy's pushing down, push the head down. If the guy's head 
his uh, above your waist push them up you know to defend this sort of takedown so if his head's coming down like that get your hands on the back of the head push him away and push him down yeah definitely I mean you don't know, try to wrestle against him try and work with him push him down push him away yeah so he's, he's sort of stuffing the head and moving away from the cage as we say that he's now done it again very very upright so he's there ready to be countered his chin is also very out there and very you know with an open chin susceptible to being knocked out quite a high guard though leading with that left hand he's so straight upright no Pope you know he's just in a bad position to be countered with a you know and, and, and a, with a short squat fighter like Cook he needs to be very careful he, he needs to get his shoulders up his chin down Cook's got to be careful of them knees yeah a couple of knees there well he will against a, a taller fighter as well those knees are, are a great weapon so I mean he's got he's got the cage control nice now little pivot go. off that's better work from Pope it's okay out. Stiff one in the face there, and another. He's going for that big overhand A-maker though, isn't it? And then he's getting caught in that clinch. It's not working for him so far, Ian. I'd like to see both guys, you know, just trying to use that little bit of space. It's sort of crowding each other's work a little bit, you know. We're not, we're not seeing the best of them, I don't think, so far. No, definitely not. I think, you know, with, with the way Joe Cook fights and the way the way he seems to fight in this first round, I'd like to see him work off that jab a bit, bit more and lead into that overhand right. Oh, that's a solid knee there from Pope. That sunk Cook down. He did not like that. And this is where it's good, you know. You'll see now, coming out for the second round, what these corners say. They're gonna, they're, they're, they've had a chance now to see how these two measure up against each other. The corners are going to give them expert advice. And that's why you see the start of the second round, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a good. That's a good round for uh, for Ross Pope for me. You know, he, he had the good clinch, he had the uh, the work with the knees, and at the end of the round there, Ian, like you said, he sunk him with a great knee to the midsection. And you know, top of in the Abby corner Jack. of Joe Cook, we're giving him some advice. You know, he'll probably be telling him to stand off a bit more and use it. You know, use his striking rather than clinching up. You know, he had the better strikes to, to start with, didn't he, Ian? Yeah, certainly, I think he did. Um, like I say, it's kind of an awkward style of striking Ross Pope's got. But if he can use the long jab um, and, and use those knees in the clinch, it could be very effective for his tall, sort of, you know, la 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 lanky shape. So here we go. Round number two, underway. Oh, that's a nice left hand there, straight away. Well, both of them definitely giving each other a bit more room. We've seen a bit more. Oh, he whipped that left hook across there, Cook. But again, there's nice straighter shots from Pope. Yeah, the, the much crisper shots are from Pope, but he's de his chin is definitely out there, isn't it? But this is what we want to see, that little bit more room. So from the advice of the corners has definitely been uh, good for us. Pope also circling to that right hand then. He's doing it again. Be very careful doing that. He was circling to the right leg as well. He's eating some leg kicks. Uh, left hand as well. Some much, much better movement from this round from Joe Cook, although he's now back in that clinch position, which doesn't seem to be working for him. No, again, a knee, solid knee in there from Pope. He's got to be careful of taking any shots here, hasn't he? Yeah. Up against the cage. Pope working the arm down, he's got all the wrist control. Again, another really well matched fight. Yeah, beyond the black beyond black belt taking it to him. Being oh, very good, good shots there from Pope. Landed a few there on the chin. Pope do, does seem to walk onto the shots, but has the crisper, cleaner boxing, doesn't he? Yes, yeah, and he's landed the better shots. He, he's just got that really upright kind of style. A very tall, rangy, uh, light heavyweight. But that's better. He's got the hands up. He just likes to see his shoulders up like, a little bit higher. There, <laughs> like that. <laughs> and as we say that, Ian, he does it. He's dropping that body shot but he's very, very open once he drops the body shot, Pope. 
And for me, Cook should be countering that with a miss, massive right hand. Again, the, the better accuracy there from Pope again. Really tough fight to call this one, isn't it, Ian? Yeah, it certainly is. I'd like Leave to see that, hand, that in the expert hands of our judges, Dan Hall, Jay Furness and Dave Letherby. All very experienced judges we've got here tonight. Yeah, I think it's always good to have uh, some, you know, judges on, on the panel like Jay Furness who, have, who, have, who fight themselves. He's had one or know. two. Yeah, he's had, he's had a couple, hasn't he? And uh, it's always good to have, uh, have that calibre of, uh, of judging. So again, as we're coming to the dying seconds of the second round, so long straight shots from Pope. I'd give Pope that round. Yeah, I would as well. He's, he's, he's got to be for me. Joe Cook, you know, he's thrown a lot, thrown a lot of shots, but nothing clean. You know, he caught a couple of left hands there, but Pope has outboxed him. So what would your advice be to uh, Ross Pope going into this third and final round? Well, I think Pope, you know, if he can keep his, uh, his shoulders and hands up, keep working those straight shots, that front kick, that, you know, sort of teeth that he's keeping Cook off with, and, and just not get involved, you know, to try and land those long shots. The clinch games are 50-50, you know, the, the, the jockeying for position, trying to work. Pope's doing well with his knees in the clinch, but it's not really uh, anything to pick between the two. Whereas we, we can see on the striking, Pope's just got the crisper shots, more accuracy. So third and final round with uh, on my scorecard, Ross Pope slightly ahead here. Joe Cook needs to go for the finish, Ian. Yeah, I believe so. And I think he will, you know, I think he'll come out swinging, I think he will fire away. Nice low kick there. They start off aggressive. You know, the shots don't seem to be affecting Ross Pope as, as so far. They're just slightly short. I think Pope's got the better measure of his opponent at the moment. Cooks are just not landing clean. A little well under the right eye of uh, of Joe Cook now. Taking a bit more damage. But he took the whole, that's a nice straight right there. You can see Pope, look at his, look at his body language. His footwork is growing in confidence. He looks a lot more assertive than he did. He's the one sort of forcing Cook back, controlling the centre of the ring, centre of the cage. Oh, awesome. oh, but that right hand could change things. He walks onto that one. And another. And a left up from Cook. Now Cook's good. Now they're better shots. Cook has found his distance. This could change things a lot. What a great fight so far, Ian. Both guys tiring a little bit there, but Ross. Work. Pope How disheartening is that going to be for Cook? He threw his, some of his best shots, they landed, and they didn't seem to budge Pope. Yeah, I mean, you know, regardless of the, of the uh, who, who wins this fight, Ross Pope needs to work on that head movement a bit better, doesn't he? Especially in the later rounds. He certainly does. I think when he watches the fight back, he'll see, you know, he's very, very upright. But look, he's picking some clean shots. That's another beautiful one. And he's seen there that he's done some damage. And he's, he's landing his shots. Oh, it worked! Knock out and that's it. That was it. He saw that he landed that shot. He landed some more clean shots. He put them in. That was great work there from Ross Pope. Ross Pope took, took some absolutely massive shots during that round and then came away with a massive knockout victory there, Ian. A great fight again there, and that's sponsored by Horner Downey. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have a big round of applause for both gladiators, please? 
Referee Neil Hall called a heart to the contest. One minute 53 into round number three. A winner by TKO Ross Poe. Big round of applause for Neil Ferry Game. Runner up, Joe Cook. Once again, fight was sponsored by Horner Downey. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, some backwards and forwards action there. You know, you both took some big shots. For a start, can we just ask about your gym? You want to tell us a little bit about your gym? Yeah, we're based in Burton-on-Trent, just a small town. We've been open about two and a half years now. Okay, well, he seems to have a, he's got quite a distinctive striking style, you know, very upright. Uh, you know, not that much head movement, but he uses the height well. You know, is that something you train or is that just his individual style? It's just Ross's individual style and, you know, we just have to work on his strengths, which is his, his height and stuff like that. And he's very good, very strong in straight lines. So we're just fo we're focusing on that kind of thing this tonight. Okay, how did you feel when he, you know, in that last round, as a few shots came back, you know, Cook came out a little bit aggressive there, landed some shots back. Were you worried for a second or did you know, were you confident in your fighter? To be honest, I was worried, but Ross seems to uh, work a lot, lot better once he's been, you know, really, when, when his back's against the wall, that's when he shines through. So, really proud of him tonight. So, Ross, a great fight there against a very game tough opponent. So, what was your game plan coming into the fight? Try not to get it, it didn't work. I, mean, I just wanted to move, do, do the coach head, keep my hands up, and a bit of movement, but as, as normal, I'll go back to what I do and just stand there and have a slugfest. So in that third round, you took a bit of damage yourself, you took a couple of shots, you came back, you got the win. How does that make you feel? Oh, it's great, great to get a, get a knockout, and you know, Joe, what an opponent, he uh, gave, me, gave me my toughest fight, you know. He was a good bloke as well, so. So you're now 3-0. Are you going to be coming back to Shinobi on a Shinobi 3 in August? If they'd have me. You know, I'm, I'm game. Yeah, I'm game, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner, Ross Pope.